So I'm going to teach you guys how to pin today. I have a really big beetle here, but some things that you guys are going to want before you get started is a piece of styrofoam. I hacked apart a box in my, in my lab, but you can use whatever's floating around. You're obviously going to want insect pins and a lot of them. And sometimes it's helpful to have little strips of paper so you can um, hold your organism up if you need to, but we'll get into that a bit later. One of the important things to make sure of when you pull your critter out of the alcohol, or especially if you pull them out of the freezer, is that you let it thaw for a little bit so all its legs and stuff can be easily moved. So like his front legs, so you just like make sure that you kind of break the muscles so you can pin him and move his legs around. Okay, so this guy is a beetle, so I'm going to pin him in the right side of his elytra, and it's important that you get the beetle straight on the pin, so you're going to put the pin in right here, and I push it down about halfway so I can see if uh, he's straight on the pin. He's a little bit heavy, so this is hard. He's a little bit not straight. And then, once you get him as straight as possible, you're going to push down the pin the rest of the way, and straight into the styrofoam. Um, at this point, you would use your pinning block to put him upside down and in the bottom and put your pin upside down in the last staircase of your pinning block, but he's really too big for that. So I'm just going to slide him a little bit on the pin and just make sure that I have enough room to hold him right up here. And then, if you want, you can move his legs around so he looks really attractive. one pin here to hold this leg out, make sure it doesn't fall back, and you could put another pin there to hold that one. You can put a pin there to hold this one down. This one. A lot of pinning is just organizing it how you like it, so this could look kind of cool if you want like a big fancy collection. Um, this isn't good if you want your collection to last a long time because as soon as the legs dry up like this, they'll become really fragile. So if you want a more long-lasting specimen, you can put his legs back up and just squash him all the way down into this into the styrofoam and that way uh, his legs wouldn't be damaged in transit or if you use him in the classroom and then you would just leave him like this for the next few days and if it's this big I'd leave it here for about a week so I'm giving this specimen to Marianne to use for outreach, so I'm going to spread all his legs apart like this to make him look a little bit more attractive and to show off his really round back legs used for rolling dung. So while he's like this, his body might droop a little bit because he's really heavy and so one of the ways to combat this is to take one of your little slips of paper you put your pin in your little piece of paper like this and then you'd slide the paper, piece of paper under his body very carefully There. 
and then that will prevent his body from sagging. So if you have really long insects, like a dragonfly, then you can put a piece of paper under them, like, perpendicular to their body, and then you can do, use a couple sheets of paper to keep their abdomen in place.